Moo! Welcome everybody to Star Ocean First Departure. This is part number three, and I'm Cow's Crazy. We're back in the cool village, and this poor guy's turned the stone. He's already turned the stone. I think he once told me that Mount Matorx was just north of here. That's correct. We're going to Mount Matorx to pick herbs to try to find the cure for this stone turning disease. Um, which is weird because later in the game your enemies, you can be turned to stone, but there is a cure for it. Just not this kind. Anyways, I highly recommend you go into the houses here and pickpocket uh, some of these uh, treasure chests they got around. You get a necklace from in here. I think it provides some defense. You can mix and match with them later on in the game. And then here, you get 200 full, which is 200 bucks. That's some money right there. You can talk to the daddy one more time. I told you not to come up here! But, 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 but. I like being butts, I cannot lie. All your other brothers can't deny. <laughs> oh boy. So anyways, we're gonna go up to Mount Matorx. We're gonna pick some herbs. How's that sound? Herb picking time. I used to know a guy named Herb. <laughs> hey Herb, I'm gonna pick you. Watch out guys, this place is swarming with fell worms. Ugh, they lay their eggs on you if you get too close, don't they? Could get nasty if those eggs hatch. Everybody's getting nasty around here. Why is everybody getting so nasty? Stop being nasty! Don't be na- Oh, that's nasty! It's a fell worm! Nasty. This looks tough! We can't lose this! We better not lose this. Like, a couple fell worms. These things are like Goombas, man. They're just simple. Just stay on top of them. You should have no problem. Millie will heal you, um, but basically you just want to use your swordsman, battle away. Don't let them get near Millie, because she can't really defend herself. But you'll gain levels very quickly. She'll gain stronger, she'll gain some offensive abilities pretty quick, so... Are you guys alright? Yep. Make sure you brush off any fell worm eggs. Don't worry, I know. They wouldn't be such a problem if they didn't hatch so fast. Yeah. Yeah. There's actually a hidden cave in here, but we'll explore that later in the game. You can't really go in there now. Don't think you're supposed to know about it right now. Oh! We got another battle! What this do we got? We oh, got we got trouble. a... Yeah, this does look bad, actually. We got a piggy and some flying things. Don't let, don't let them near Millie, that's the main thing here. She'll keep healing you. That was way too that fast. Was easy. Hopefully. That was right. easy. Not really. That was actually a bit harder. Because if they get near Millie and they take her out, they, then you can't, you can't heal and then... Well, everything can go to hell very quickly. Very quickly. If you don't got your healer. Oh my god, it's another fell worm. It's nasty! Don't get we nasty trouble. with me! I hope we can do this. You can actually hold the square button and choose your target, so if something's getting close to Millie, you can go after that one in case Doran isn't taking care of it. Instead of, you know. So you can choose which one you go after. That one was easy. It's over. It's over. It's all but over. <gasps> you all right? Don't touch me. What? I'm just worried about you. You don't have to yell at me like that. No, it's nothing. Don't worry about me. Wait, you didn't catch the 
I must have caught it when I touched that carrier pigeon. <gasps> oh no! We better go back home. No, I'm fine. I haven't started turning into stone yet. But... I said I'm fine! I'm sorry, but I'm fine, really. Besides, those herbs will cure me anyway, right? Let's get moving. Also, you should uh, drink the water before you keep moving. Because drinking the water gets your health restored. Normally, they say don't drink the water down in Mexico. <laughs> but anyways, um, now is a good time to go to your menu, go to equipment, pick Dorn, and you'd want none. No longsword, no armor, no wooden shield, no gloves. You want to unequip him. Um, whoops, hold it. I just said best equipment. Uh, <laughs> I said unequip him. You want to unequip him for reasons that will be obvious in just a moment. But anyways, let's continue up the mountain. Up the mountain. There's the flower that we need. I thought there wasn't supposed to be anyone here. There weren't any life forms here, Captain, when I scanned the area. Who are you? What do you want? Have you come here to take the herbs away from us? Where did you come from? Look, you don't have to be so... Stay where you are! Uh, ...so afraid. Uh... Well, that didn't work. Who are you? Where are you from? You're dressed really weird and I don't trust you! Well, you see, my name is Ronix J. Kenny. How can I explain this so it makes sense? Captain, huh? allow me. <sighs> My name's Elia Silvestri, and please, before you say anything, I want you to know that we're not your enemy. We're here to help you. Uh -huh. Before you say anything, I want to let you know that we are not your enemy. Really? Well, they sure aren't our friends. Not these strangers. We're here to pick some of the herbs off of this mountain, that's all. I should tell you that these herbs won't stop anyone from turning into stone. How... who are you? More interested in listening to us now? All right, go. I'm sure you won't believe us at first, but we've come from a place far, far away to save all of you. So why didn't you come sooner then? We can't make direct contact with civilizations in the early stages of development. It's part of the Underdeveloped Planet Preservation Pact. Early stages of development? We came here from beyond the sky, from another planet. We're making something of a special exception to the rule, you see. Beyond the sky? Another planet? Are you gods? No, we're not gods. We're people, just like you. Well, uh, except without the tails. Oh, wow! Lazonia, a force opposing our own, broke the underdeveloped planet preservation pact recently and engaged in direct interference with this planet. As if that weren't bad enough, they also fired a biological weapon at you, releasing the contagion that spread across this whole area. So we're turning into stone and it's because of those Lazonia guys? Correct. 
I, I can't believe this. We've been sent here to examine the disease and try to find a treatment for it. So you see, we've come here to help you. Probably in ways you've never imagined. I still can't believe any of this, but can you really help with a cure? I can't really believe it either, but if you're able to save our friend here... If you come with us and help us in creating a vaccine, we should be able to cure him. Vaccine? Um, uh, a miracle medicine, sort of. Well then, there's something you ought to know before we go any further. If you folks decide to come with us, you'll probably never see this planet again. Why not? That's what the rules say. If you interact with us too much, we can't let you go back to your original life. That's another part of the Underdeveloped Planet Preservation Pact. Now, if you'd like, we could go our separate ways, and you could pretend this was all some kind of fever dream. There is still time for that. Well, I'm going with these guys. All I've got waiting for me here is life as a statue. You can't do that. You want me to choose between losing you forever, or losing my father and everyone else forever? Don't make me do that, Dorn! Millie, let's go with Dorn, too. I'm sorry to break this to you, but there's just nothing we can do if we stay here. I know it's hard leaving everyone you know in Kratos, but we've got a bigger job ahead. We're going to save everybody. Well, it's settled then. Might as well get going. Close your eyes for a moment, please. Huh? What was that? Where are we? This is our ship. really are gods. We're not gods. We've just advanced a little sooner than you, that's all. You can have all this for yourselves, too, someday. <sighs> well, let's get him over to sickbay. The floor! It's moving! And that door back there opened by itself! Incredible. I've never seen anything like this before. I just realized I haven't asked any of your names yet. My name is Roddick Ferentz. I'm Millie Cliet. Dorn <clears throat> Myrtle. <sighs> Captain, his condition's deteriorating. Better hurry, then. What's this? I guess this must be surprising to you, but this is how we treat sick people. See what you can do for him, Doctor. Yes, sir. Well, no point in having you hang around here. How would you like a tour of the ship? Captain, that would be a violation of the Preservation Pact. Well, it's a little late for that, isn't it? I'll be on the bridge. You show them around for me. Okay? Captain! <sighs> Brother.
Okay, so now we're up in space and we're on the ship. Oh boy, we can talk with the doctor if we want. This may take a little longer, he says. So anyways, um, yeah. There was a lot of dot dot dots in that little uh, cutscene there. I think this game has a lot of dot dot dots. I mentioned that in a recent Donkey Kong that I love dot dot dot. But uh, maybe this is where I got it from because wow, there's a lot of dot 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 in this game. This is a save point. You can save your progress whenever you want when you touch a save point. Choose the save that. Yeah, yeah, okay, I know how to save. Okay, but anyways, you, when you see one of these inside a dungeon or, or inside a building or whatever, these are the only places you can save unless you're on the world map. Then you can save anywhere you want. But otherwise, you have to come to a save point and save like so. Boom. So, I have saved my progress. Excellent. So that's how you get it done. So, in the next episode of Star Ocean, we will go on a tour of the ship and we'll see what this uh, amazing spacecraft can do. Until then, everybody, I'm Cal's Crazy. Please subscribe. Please leave a comment below. And of course, move!